say something, I'd rather say something important than something not. First question is for you, uh, Dino. Mm -hmm. What lyrical theme that uh, Burton uh, discusses appeals the most to you? Um, all the above. I mean, we've always, you know, been a band that's always been about, you know, being aware of what our future is going to be like, and you know, current topics that are going on today. So really, all the, all the above. You know, what I mean, I like everything that he talks about. Is there one especially specific when he writes lyrics about me? <laughs> Hidden messages, maybe about Hidden messages? No, yeah. not really. <laughs> yeah, you. you yeah, said... if you play it backwards, yeah, it'll get some satanic stuff. Yeah. Okay. We tried that already. We'll come to that in the next. We tried it already. <laughs> yeah, Burton, you said you got a lot of inspiration while well, considering this record for, uh, from books. Uh, you named a few books, uh, you know, a few books, a couple movies. Uh, um, you know, news. News. You know, living in the United States for the past ten years and being a citizen of the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you mentioned the book, The Third Wave, which uh, I found. It. Can you name one thing of that book that really triggered something in you? It was, uh, well, it, it, first of all, his, uh, his recount of history, uh, through sociological history, you know, going with, starting with, uh, you know, the uh, agricultural period and then to the industrial period and then talking about the economics moving into the third wave, which is, which we're pretty much, you know, we're really moving into at this moment. Um, he's just really, you know, hit, it struck a chord with me. It really... You know the fact that he really under you know looking into history, he really understands where it's moving towards because history always does repeat itself in some way or another. And just by judging history and studying history, you can really see where society is going. Do you think that especially maybe metal music fits into this? Moment yeah, in time? I mean, of course, uh, everything comes in cycles. You know, uh, you know what's old is new, and what's new is old. But especially maybe in this this moment of time well, that we've always been more than just metal music we've, mm -hmm. you know it's, we've always there's always been aggressive you know, music maybe aggressive and like an industrial aspect to it but it's always been a conscious a social consciousness to it as well or you know awareness of what's happening in our world and moving forward and really uh take you know looking at what's happening in this world and basically push pushing it forward um you know if, if it does it doesn't really matter what music it is you know it's about what it's saying and that's what, to me, that's important. You know, I have this opportunity uh, in this time period in my life to say something, and I'd rather say something important than something not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it an awareness you, you've got over the past few years, or it always was there? I think it's always been there, but it's always been growing, and uh, the older I get, I think, the more aware I become. Do you feel that he, what he sings or says about it, he speaks for the band, or is it, is it? No, he definitely speaks for the band. Yeah, for sure. Are there talks? Some certain talks or topics? Yeah, that we, discuss? we we discuss a lot of things. Um, you know, we you know throw I throw a lot of ideas to him too as well. Um, you know, so we discuss it all. You know Can you I mean? give an example? Of, of, uh, uh, like the song "Final Exit Network." Uh, "Final Exit" it's called. It's by an organization called the Final Exit Network that uh, helps in assisted suicide for people who are terminally ill. Um, you know, something that I saw on CNN. And it was a big topic about it on there, and uh, this organization was on the hot seat, and uh, I brought it up to him, and he pretty much investigated it, wrote a great song out of it. It's the last song on our record. It's called Final Exit, and it's just really passionate and just, uh, you know, because I, I actually had lost a mother to multiple sclerosis, so I know what it's, you know, like to to deal have to deal with someone like that, you know. Is it is that still uh, illegal in the in the United States? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 taboo. It's illegal, and you know people are trying to get it changed. You know, is Obama trying to get it changed? Or? No, <laughs> it's it's you know he's got a. He's, I think he has more important <laughs> things to deal with. Like, yeah, well, not more important, but bigger things to deal with. And I'm sure it's you know something that they're thinking about. But right now, there's more crises in the world. Yeah, he has, he has worldly issues to deal you know, with than just America. It's not just a political issue, it's a, it's a religious issue, it's a social issue, and that, that touches many people, and you know, religion has a big part of it. And, uh, you know, what can you do?